friends, today I'm going to teach you some different games that you can play at home to review your sight words. The first game I'm going to teach you is called Memory. So what you need for memory is um, pieces that have your sight words on them. So all of these are from list 7 and 8. You need two of each. So I have two words that say I, two words that say much, two that say start, two that say other, two that say own, and two that say becomes. I am only having six matches. If you wanna make this game harder, you could have 10 or 12 different matches. I'm just gonna start with six. I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna mix them up and make sure that they're pointed down so that you can't see the words. And then you're gonna organize them and try and find the matches. Remember that this game is called memory, so that means you have to remember where the words were, because you want to find a match. So the first player will go. I flip it over and I read own. Now I want to find where the word own is. So I guess this one. This one says becomes. They don't match, so I have to put them back. And I remember becomes was here, own was here. And I really lock that in my brain so that when it's my turn again, I can find a match. Then my partner would go. I'll pretend to be the other partner. Becomes, I was paying attention, I remember, becomes was here. They both say become, so that's a match. I got a match and I get to keep it and now I get to take another turn. Much, hmm, I. They don't match, but I'm gonna remember I and much. You keep going back and forth between your partner until you find all of the matches and then you guys can start over. The next game you can play, you can play using these same pieces. And I'm gonna add some more in here because that seems fun. And I'm gonna mix them all up. And that's gonna be the pile that I draw from. The next one is gonna be tic-tac-toe, but with sight words. So again, you probably need a partner. You could also play by yourself if you wanted. And you're gonna draw a word. Coming. I knew the word coming, so I get to put something on my board. If I didn't know this word, then I would have to put it back and my partner would get a turn. I know that this is coming, so I'm gonna start with an X. Now my partner gets to go. My partner got the word becomes. If they knew it, they would then get to put an O. And it goes back and forth until you get a tic-tac-toe. Much. And then your partner would go and your partner reads a word. If you want to make this game harder to earn an X or O, you could have to get two in a row or three in a row. So if I wanted to get an X, I would have to say three words. Much, becomes, and coming. And then I could put it down. But that's if you want to make it harder. If you don't want to make it harder, that's okay. Just draw one word before you put an X or O down. And the last one I want to show you is something called rainbow writing. Miss Jenkins loves doing this. Miss Jenkins taught me about it. And you get to practice writing your sight words. I found things around the house. I have a green pen, a couple highlighters, and a Sharpie. If you have markers, you can use those. If you have crayons, you can use those. But what's important is that you're writing your sight words and then you get to do it in a fun way. So the first word I'm going to practice writing is coming. So first, I might do it in green. C-O-M-I-N-G. Then I'll pick another color. Maybe I'll use my yellow next. Coming. C-O-M-I-N-G. Then maybe I'll use my pink one. C-O-M-I-N-G. Coming, coming, coming. And then I pick another word and I'd rainbow right again. Become. Then some yellow. And then some pink. And I can keep doing that with all of the words that are in my pile, all the words that are in my sight words list until I have a beautiful rainbow full of sight words written in lots of different colors. I hope that you guys have fun playing these games and that you get to practice a lot of sight words. Bye.